so today I'm going to show you a sew along for the McCall's pattern, the M6017. And so you can see all the different styles that you can choose from. Um, I've made, I made a dress in E before, which was really, really cute. But today I'm going to make A, so very, very cute little top. And I'm gonna make it in a size two. But basically when you pick the pattern up, you'll just look at it and basically see where the sizes are on the back. So I did toddler size two and I did top A. So 45 and 60 inches depends on how wide your fabric is. So I can't remember what I ended up getting, but just choose the corresponding yardage. And then basically here, it'll tell you suggested fabrics, and then it'll also tell you if you need anything else. Sometimes you have to look a little bit further down. Uh, it had an option for applique. I didn't actually add that in. And then some of the options need elastic, but for mine, you just need the fabric. And then when you open up the directions, it'll show you in more detail all the differences between all the different uh, pattern options. And then basically it'll tell you top A, it'll do a suggested layout, um, but basically I need pieces one, two, three, and five. Um, I already cut these pieces out, so I cut them out to size two, the size I wanted. And again, it'll say here what uh, corresponding patterns it goes to. Um, so again, we did A, and then it also tells you the length. So I kept it long just because I did do a dress in this pattern before, and then I just folded it over, cut it here to do the top. And then two, this is gonna be on the fold, so make sure you pay attention to this. And this will also tell you the direction of the fabric, so how to lay it. And then again, piece one is also on the fold. And I actually like to store my pattern pieces in a plastic bag once they're open and cut out. And I just stick this in the front too, only because I find it almost impossible to be able to put everything back into this neat little package. So just sew the front and back pieces together. Okay, sew the shoulder strap with a 3 8 inch seam line. So I'm basting the shoulder strap to the back piece. Okay, now I'm basting the shoulder straps to the back piece. Now I'm stitching the lower front and back sections together at sides. I just got these sewing clips. I haven't decided if I like them or not. They're a little bulky. I always back stitch just to start it off. This is a standard 5 8 inch seam allowance. And again, back stitch to end it. Okay. 
same thing on the other side. And usually I like to do it at the fourth inch and the, I guess like half inch so that this, when you sew at the five eighths inch seam allowance, the stitches don't pop out and show at all. Okay, so now for the hem, I basted one fourth inch away and then just used that to fold it over, folding up a total of five eighths inch. So it comes out to about half of that in terms of the total hem length when I'm looking at it. And then, yeah, just sew all the way around close to the top and uh, we'll pretty much be done.